my friends, today we are going to talk about sovereignty. So, what does it take to be sovereign? What comes to your mind? Perhaps power, authority, the big boss, sometimes even the patriarch. But to be honest, it all sounds a little bit like stories of old white men, something we don't appreciate anymore and we don't want to hear about it. So, why not try to take another perspective on sovereignty. Probably the ancient storytellers can help us again, for sometimes the oldest perspective is the clearest one. Let's have a try. And that's not that difficult, because ancient mythology is full of stories of sovereignty, because there are a lot of stories about kings and queens. In our case, let's focus on a king. Not a king, but the king, the very one. Zeus, the emperor of the universe, the king of gods and men, the one who was worshipped all around. Zeus definitely is majestic and sovereign. But why and through what? Now the story starts to begin. Now the story begins to be fascinating. Because what do, the, what do the storytellers tell us about Zeus? Lots of stories, not about his decision, his fights, which he gloriously won. No, they are telling us stories about his love affairs. And there are incredible many stories of Zeus' love affairs with his aunties, with his spouses, with humans, with nymphs. It's incredible, a huge amount of love affairs which are reported. On the contrary, little stories about strength and violence. This is fascinating and it draws our attention to a quite unique feature of the ancient Greek mindset. In opposition to other archaic religions, such as the old traditions of the Middle East, the ancient Greeks never believed in the almighty, all-powerful creator of the world, the sovereign, the ruler of the angels and the humans. This is, this is not a Greek idea. Zeus was different. Zeus governed not through commandments, not through weapons, not through tough decision-making. No, Zeus governed through love affairs, through procreation. He is not the divine craftsman who, who by means of his skills and techniques builds his empire. No, he generates the world through procreation through love affairs with female qualities. Isn't it fascinating? Because here we are aware of a story that is quite different than all the stories about power and sovereignty we've ever been told. This story is about a very natural way of governance, a very natural way of leadership, a way which is in tune with the cosmic principle. For remember, the world around us, the world of plants and trees, was not constructed through willpower, technology and commandments. It was constructed through the cooperation and interaction of life itself. And this is a lesson to be learned from Zeus. I don't want to say that you all have to make love affairs, that's not the point. But you have to interact, you have to cooperate, you have to collaborate with other ones in order to generate a sustainable and enduring empire or world. This concept of sovereignty seems to be very suitable for the challenges of the 21st century. Because time has come to lead and govern to be sovereign in a way that is in tune with nature. And this is true for entrepreneurs and for all of us. Thank you.